Hey everyone, thanks for learning to play games. My name is Lance, and in today's video, we've got a brand new game coming to Kickstarter called Pola the Magnetic Game. This is a brand new one from Blaster Light Games. It is a one to two player game that takes roughly 20 to 45 minutes to play, and is a three dimensional strategy game where you're going to be playing tic tac toe across the six different faces of the cube and you're going to be building this up throughout the game. So at the beginning of the game, you're going to go ahead and start with just this orange piece in the center of this. Each player will receive their 13 cubes of their color, and then that's going to pass back and forth between the players, and during each player's turn, that player is going to be connecting cubes to build up these six different faces around this central orange cube. At the end of the game, the player that each player is going to total up each face, and they're going to get points for all the straight lines of connecting three spaces either horizontally vertically or even diagonally on each one of the different faces and then whoever has the most points will be the winner of the game and the game also has two modes where after you have the basics down with the the standard mode you can go into the advanced mode where you're going each player is going to get to choose two of the different cubes to add and each cube is going to have its own special rules and once the first player selects a cube, that will not be available for the next player. So each player will have two unique cubes. And these are the six that are included in this prototype. There might be more that are unlocked during the campaign, or they might have expansions or whatnot. I don't know about that, but these are the six different ones, again, that are included in what I have to work with. So during the campaign, there are a couple of important things that they wanted me to talk about that are really unique and different for this particular campaign. The first one is their goal to get this game into space. They want to send this to the space station for the astronauts to have something to do, of course, besides whatever they're doing up there. And so in order to do that, they're going to have a certain goal that they're trying to reach to, to accomplish that. If they don't achieve that goal, any funds that they get are going to go towards charity. And if they get over the goal, then the ultimate goal is to be able to both send this game into space and donate to some charities so that they are doing some good with this as well. So a couple of other important features with this one, it is designed to last. This is going to be something that they want you to have for the rest of your life. It is designed to be very durable. These pieces are hopefully not going to fall apart. And again, this is just a prototype. And even as a prototype, this is designed really, really well. Each one of these pieces also as you can see, is color coordinated to the different players, and each one of them has indentations in it. So you'll actually be able to feel whether it's an X or no, or even on some of the special pieces, each one of them is going to have different features that are going to be beneficial for players that are blind or players that don't see very well, or a number of other things, including just playing in low light, where you can play this at a campfire and not have to worry about being able to see your pieces, you'll actually be able to feel them as you're placing them on. The pieces also have these little teeth on some of the spots with the magnet where they're going to connect and lock into place so that they don't fall off. Now, throughout the game, as players are building these up, if a player happens to drop the cube where it falls apart or they it falls apart in that player's hand, then that player is going to lose. So they uh, won't be able to cheat by dropping it and going, oh, I don't remember what, uh, what how it was set up. But... Beyond that, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you as well on what you think on this and where you would like to play this game. As like I said, you can pl pr play this pretty much anywhere with the way that it's designed. You can play it in the car, in a boat, in a plane, in space, underwater, and a number of other places. And I'd love to hear from you with some, some creative thoughts on where you would like to play this game. In those comments down below, maybe I'll pick the best one or something and do something fun with that. So other than that, with this one, in this video, I'm going to go over the main features of this one and also talk about some of these special pieces and how they're going to be used. And I'll show you a sample turn to give you a better idea how this one plays. As always, if you find my videos helpful, if you like what I do, please consider that like button and subscribe to my channel. It's one of the easiest ways you can support channels like mine so we continue to grow and be able to produce this content. If you want to stay up to date on all my videos, also give that notification bell a ring, and that'll let you know whenever I drop new stuff, as I'm constantly dropping new videos over Kickstarter coverage, teaching videos, playthrough videos, and many others. So if you want to stay up to date and get notified whenever I drop those, hit that bell. So let's go ahead and head to the table, and we'll see what this one's all about.
Now there are also six special pieces that are going to be included in the game and I want to cover each one of these as each one of them provides special rules for the way that it is going to be played and adds a unique flavor to the game. So the first one is the cat and this one it can be played in any of the corners and the cat if it is connected to one other piece either horizontally or vertically will get points. So it allows you to gain points by only connecting one other piece basic piece of yours. The horse allows you to connect it in an, uh, in an L pattern. So you'll need a piece above and to the side of it in order to score points. So these are great for corners. Then you have the Joker. With the Joker at the beginning of the game, you're going to choose what kind of cube it is. And this is going to be based on whatever cubes your opponent chooses. So if your opponent takes a cat or a horse, for example, you can choose to duplicate the cat effect. And now both of you have that. Another important thing I do want to point out with these is as you can see in here, there's also little bubbles and dots for those that might be blind or are hard of seeing. They can be able to feel these different pieces and know exactly what they are. The next special piece is the rocket. And this one, whatever face it is placed on, it will score double points for any of the, the lines that are on that face, including the ones that it is part of, but it does not need to be part of them in order to double their points. Next is the ghost, and this one you're going to score points by connecting other players' cubes to it. So if this has other players' cubes connected to it in vertical or horizontal lines, you're going to gain points for that. And then the final one is the bomb, and this one is going to cancel all points both for you and another player on all on that face that it is showing on, and this will be placed in the center point as well. And the final thing I want to do is take you through some sample turns to give you a good idea how this one plays. So again with this one, it is going to start with the central orange cube, and this is going to go back and forth between players, each player placing one of their basic cubes on the central cube or into a connecting cube to make a 3x3 three three grid. Now if you're playing the advanced game, you also, each player will get two of the special cubes where each player has different unique special cubes. But for this example, I'm just going to be using the basic cubes. So let's go ahead and say that the white X player is going to be the first player to go. So that player is going to connect one there and then it'll go over to the orange player again to either connect one to the orange cube or he can start building on the other cube on that face. So let's go ahead and say that he decides to go there back to the, the X player and that player is going to let's see. What do I want to do here? I will. I think I'm going to connect it there. All right, back to the orange player to go. That player is going to go ahead and do that. Back to the white player. So now the white player has to choose whether that player wants to stop orange from getting some points there or continue to build out to try to get some points for, for himself. So let's go ahead and say that, yes, he wants to stop that. So the orange is going to come down here and go ahead and try to block this one off. And then it's going to go back over to the X player to go. So the X player is going to start building out this way. And the orange is going to, let's see, how do I want to do that? Orange will come over here and do that one. All right, back over to X. Let's do, let's do that. All right, over to orange to go. Orange is going to keep building that way. All right, so back over to the X player. So as you can see, you can start rotating and there's all kinds of different things that are gonna start coming up with this. So now I'm gonna go ahead and connect there. So now I have that line going across there on that cube. All right, back over to orange. Let's see here. Let's do, what do I wanna do? Let's go ahead and do that. So orange will connect there, get some points there. Going back to the X player. Go ahead and go there. Back over to orange to go. Orange, let's go here. All right, back over to X. So let's say the X goes there. 
All right, and then again, that would just keep going until the players fill in all those different spots. And then you move into the scoring step where again, you're going to get points for every straight vertical and horizontal line as well as diagonal line. And the player that has the most points across all six faces is going to be the winner of the game. Well, I hope this video helps you in deciding whether or not this is one you want to back on Kickstarter. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please post those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them. Or swing by the Kickstarter's main page and drop any questions you have in the comments as well. I'm sure the creators would love to hear from you and are more than happy to answer any questions you have. And until next time, I'll see you later.